Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jacob with Rams Landscaping and Lawn Maintenance out here in beautiful Central Florida. Today, guys, I'm going to give you the second lawn care business tip, and that is um, how to get how to get uh, accounts. How to get accounts. <clears throat> so basically, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so I don't advertise. Um, you know, you see my work shirts. I have this Moreno on on the edge when I wear it. And then on my trucks, I don't have no logos or nothing. Uh, but what I do, the, but I know I don't have um, a website. I don't do Google or none, none of that. I, mean, I guess you could kind of say I'm still a little like real old school. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and the reason for that is because I know that once I put a logo on my truck or whatever, I'm gonna it's, it get overwhelmed with work. And right now I'm I'm already with a lot of work, so there's, there's really no need for me to advertise. But the, if you're starting now, um, so this for for me. If you're starting now, I know a lot of y'all do uh, door hangers. Uh, if you're putting your a flyer and wrapping it up in a rubber band and put it in the Ziploc bag and throwing it onto people's driveways or on or on by the mailbox, guys, uh, I don't know if that really works. Um, I find those all the time. Um, wet um it looks like trash it looks like you don't really care you know um if, if you really want it you know make it where it's not going to be in the middle of the driveway who's going to drive up in their driveway get out of their car to pick it up the only people that are going to pick it up are the people cutting the grass or whatever and they're just going to toss that in the trash that's my opinion so <clears throat> don't mean uh you know if you're doing that you know or if you're thinking about doing that you know door hangers you know I'm, I I don't do door hangers, but I think that's a pretty good way because you're going up to people's house, whatever, and it's a it's a opportunity to talk with them, you know, when they come to the door or whatever. It's an opportunity to talk with them, and you know, because that's the whole that's that's the way to grow your business is talking with people, <clears throat> you know. Uh, for instance, I'm I'm fixing to do this house here, and I've been doing this house here for about a year, and then a year and a half or so. Well, now I'm doing the neighbor's house, and and I was recommended by these people, and they've been watching me coming over here. And every time they they drive up into their driveway, you know, I'm waving at them, I'm, I'm telling them hi. Uh, and then not only that, just uh, I just recently picked up the the other neighbor's house, and same thing, they're they're new to the neighborhood, and you know, everybody's, um, you know, so they're talking good about me. You know, I see, you know, now that you know, every time I see people, I'm, I'm always waving at people. I. I it's, People are walking, their dogs are just running. Hey, good morning, good afternoon. Hey, how you doing? Hey, the, the weather, you know, real short. Hey, hi. This, the whole thing, guys, is making yourself approachable, making yourself feel um, comfortable with people. Because the more you, you know, you say hi, whatever. You know, for me, it's hard because everybody says I always look mean, I look mad, and, and it's just like, man, that's dude. I don't know what to say. That's my face. <laughs> but, you know, so. I guess for me it's like an icebreaker when I just hey how y'all doing you know <laughs> you know but just in this color sack you know on the other side I got more uh, I gave I met with other people on the other side um, so and they were just walking their dogs you know and one was just standing there and hey, hey how you doing you know that's all it takes you know the other neighborhood that I take care of you know I've been in that in that neighborhood for years but I know basically almost everybody everybody I walk even the ones that I don't take care of they know me you know, we talk, we, you know, I don't do little work for them, you know, here and there. And it, it, that's the whole thing. It's just being approachable, being so they get comfortable with you. You know, same thing if you have guys, always have them, you know, if you're edging, blowing, whatever, have them stop. If, if there's somebody's coming, running or, or walking, have, have them stop or, or move somewhere else where they're not blowing all that debris into the air. So when they're running or walking or on their phone, whatever, it, it's kind of like, <clears throat> respecting the neighborhood you know just just respecting the neighborhood the people in the neighborhood just respecting them you know and so i don't know where i got off with that well anyway so the way i advertise business cards this is my business card let's see that's an old business card I, I have never really changed it uh my the logo because my new one would be i would just have the logo on one side and then the information on the other side <clears throat> but i do got the new logo coming out but business cards, guys, I'm, and I'm going to tell you why. Always carry business cards you and give them out like you, you shake people's hands. And, and so 
when you go to a doctor's office, you know, people say, well, how you get these big houses, whatever. Business cards, guys, business cards. And when you get into a neighborhood, you know, they'll talk good about you or it's, it's the business card. Always keep business cards with you. Um, we, we, like you, say you go into a doctor's office, right? And, you know, don't be ashamed, you know, tell them, hey, how you doing? Hey, how's your yard? Whatever, you know, we do landscaping. Leave them a business card. You go to a restaurant, talk to the manager, whatever. Give them a business card. Banks, you're dealing with these bank people. Give them a business card. I'm telling you guys, keeping business cards with you, getting them out. Every time you, you say hi to somebody, give them a business card. You know, you're at the store, give them a business card, <clears throat> you know. And this is, this is, this is, you're, you're, you're leaving these everywhere. You know, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how much work you get just by giving people business cards. Cause you're not just giving a business card. You're actually meeting them to give them a business card. You know, you, you're not just throwing it at them or, or, you know, or leaving it at the front door or whatever. You're, you're actually handing them a business card. And by giving them a business card, they might lose it. Yeah. You know, I had some people ask me for a business card. I give them a business card. And then next thing you know, they, they'll, they'll be like, hey, I lost your business card, you know, uh, can't get another one, can't get another one for a friend, whatever. So then now I'm giving them more, you know. <clears throat> so, and then, yeah, always leave a business card. When you live, when, um, whenever you talk to somebody, just give them a business card. Teachers, give them a business card. You know, when you pick up your kids from school, say, hey, how you doing? You know, you're, uh, I, I did this thing a while back, years ago. Uh, for teachers, I was doing, I, some teachers, I, I was doing their, their lawns for free. And the reason was for that was because I really appreciate uh, the extra that they did for, for the students. And, and I've done that for the military also. Once you told me, once they, um, I get a call and they'll tell me that, hey, they're in the military, whatever. Um, I have, you know, took care of their, their yard, you know, one-time service, whatever. Or, you know, just make it looking outstanding. And that's another thing, guys. You know, I don't care if you're doing a million dollar house or you're doing a thirty dollar house. They all need to get the same quality of work, same quality of work, because that that speaks volumes about you. All right, you know, just because somebody's paying you cheap or or free, whatever, doesn't mean you give them a sloppy job. You know, you you give them a high quality job, just like they're paying you thousands of dollars, and because that that that's gonna tell, that's gonna say a lot about you. All right, and. Oh, man, that's more than that's that's more than what I was going to talk about. Cause all I want to talk about <laughs> was business cards. <laughs> give out business cards, you know, <laughs> and just get them out to everybody, man. Just give them out to everybody, you know, your family members, your friends. Give them, give them a pack, and you know, when they go to work, give them a business card, you know, tell them, hey, pass these out for me. Because when they give to somebody a business card, you know, they give it to their coworkers or their friends or 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 their boss, whatever, you know, is is more. I say it has more reputation back to back it up. You know what I mean? Because if especially if you get to if your family member or your friend are, are good standing with people, you know. So, so th that's my tip, guys. So my my second tip for lawn care business is always carry business cards with you and always give them out. You know, and I probably done told you three and four, but uh, tips. But uh, thank y'all for watching. I hope this was helpful. If it is. You know, like, comment, um, help me, uh, yeah, so anyways, do all that good stuff, guys, and always remember, stay strong, stay focused, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, peace out, guys.